everybody, welcome to Franny's Square, the Franny's hair portion. Today I have my beautiful baby sister Sharon with me. She's going to help me because I have eight wigs here to try on for you. They're all part of the affordable wig series and they range from $29.99 up to $119. So we're going to try them on for you. Sharon's new to wigs. Yeah. Um, yeah, she tried them on at dinner the other night and had a great time. So I said, come join me for this video. So she's probably going to ask a lot of questions that you might have and hopefully I can answer them. And if not, anybody out there who's wearing wigs can answer them for us in the comments. Okay. So ready okay. to get started? So Sharon has a lot of hair. You can a see a lot of hair. Yeah. Yes. So she's going to put on a wig cap to get all of that hair together and then we'll put the wig grip on you. All right, do you so. want me to put my hair up in the ponytail holder first? You can if that makes it easier. Okay. Oh, you have one? Okay. Probably easier. To do and I wish I had that hair. I don't know how I'm part of this family. Both my sisters have tons of hair. Okay. Well, you got the beautiful eyes. Oh, <laughs> thank you. All right, uh, how do I put this on? Like that? Yeah, let me. Okay. You can tell I'm brand new to this. <laughs> <laughs> I never wear a wig cap, so I'm kind of new to this oh, too. So if you I, wear a wig cap, is that because you have long hair then? Because you have a lot of hair to okay. put in there. I don't. I hardly have any hair, so I just use the wig grip. Okay. So if you don't have a lot of hair, you don't need this then. Right. Just make okay. sure you tuck all the front in too so that it doesn't. Okay. Is that tucked in? I think so. Pretty good. Right? Just make sure these sides here are tucked in. Okay. So, um, I think what we're going to do is we'll just start with the least expensive wig. So you'll start with Amelia. She was $29.99 from Paula Young and we got her in the color 16. Okay. So, and you know, this is right out of the box so you can show Take her out, yeah. Okay. That's good. Ooh. She has a hair net on. It's a different color, I like that. I like that color. Yeah, she's light, right? I decided to do all different colors, textures, so you guys could see everything. Now, um, you know, maybe I should get scissors and we'll cut off the tags because I'm not gonna be returning these. Let me grab scissors. Okay. Well, this should be interesting, this color. Yeah, I have never had a light hair color. Before. Right. And you're going to be shocked at first. Whenever you put on a wig that's not like your hair at first, it's really shocking. But I say, you know, walk around with it, get used to it. It's fun because then you get to see if you like different styles and different colors. And you can change them up in a day. I wore three different hairstyles yesterday. It was, <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> Andy was like, now you have long dark hair? That's great. Okay, so let's just first talk about the wig cap on this one. Like I said, she was $29.99. It's a basic cap. You can see there's no lace front, open wefting, a regular nape. It's not extended nape. It has the Velcro adjusters, and the Velcro is my favorite. So for the ear tabs, it's open. And you can stick your glasses through there. A lot of people have mentioned that. I don't wear glasses normally, but it makes it easy to wear glasses. Okay, so to put it on, you're just going to kind of dive in. Okay, so question. You said there's an adjustable Velcro strap. Right. So do you get, like, is this a small, medium, large? Do you order it that Great size? question. Or? This is an average. Okay. I ordered everything in average. And what I do is when I first get it, I just put it on and see. And then if I need to, I have a petite average head, so 21 and a half inch circumference. I don't know what you have. We should measure you. Okay. But um, just put it on at first. Okay. And then you, w once you put it on, you're going to take the ear tabs and make sure they're even okay. on each side. Yeah, and I'm asking because my best friend wants to try on some wigs, and she has a really small head. Okay, so now right here we have to get it more forward. Try to put it on so it's like down, like take it off and... Okay. Oh wait, we don't have your wig grip on. That's why. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna just put it on you. 
Okay. I, I picked a dark one, so it might show with this wig, but because right. I was thinking you had dark hair. Okay, and then we just pull it back behind your hairline a little. It's interesting, your hairline is like... I yeah. have a weird hairline, I do. It's, yeah. I don't think it's weird, weird, but... All right. So when you put it on, just pull it to like this part of your head, the front. This is, I think that's the wrong way. Yeah, that, that way. way. While you're doing that, I'm going to... the tag has to be this way. Okay. Right. All right. Make sure your ear tabs are even on each side. I think they're even. Okay. All right. Is this like a reveal like this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, stay there with that. Like, play with it. Just get it out of your face. You actually look good in blonde hair. Really? Yeah. Okay, so while she's uh, got that on, I'm going to put one on also. This is Mara in the color 17 slash 88 S and she was 36 99 also from Paula Young. And these are right out of the box. You can see they're still wrapped. So you get to see what they look like out of the box. Neither of these are heat friendly. So you can see how shiny this one is. I would definitely spray that with the dry shampoo to take some of the shine out of that. Um, let me just get Mara on. I'm gonna take this one off. So if it's not heat resistant, you don't blow dry it or curl it or anything. It's just as is. Right. right. You can play with the heat with your hands, which I'll show you. Um, but you don't use any heat on it. it. It will ruin it. Okay. Okay. So take the hair net off. This is Mara. So the less expensive ones usually are not the heat resistant. Is that correct? That's usually a feature that costs more. Sometimes you can get some you know, on sale. Okay. And I think I may have some in this group that are heat resistant. Let me just show you the cap of this quickly. It's a basic cap. Again, no lace front, no monofilament part. Those things would cost extra normally. There's probably some permatease in here, in this part. That's my guess. Um, there is a regular nape, again, with Velcro adjusters and the open ear tabs with hair spliced in. I don't know if you can see that there. So I'm gonna put this on. And the reason I say there's probably permatease in there, I think I feel a little bit, uh, is because it's behind some lace. Okay. This cap feels a little uh, bigger on me. The ear tabs are, yeah, this is definitely bigger right out of the gate so i would probably have to tighten that up but i'm just going to leave that for now okay mm, it's pretty you like this one i like the color 36.99 so but i want to show it up close i think you can see it has like the cross hatch part that's how they come a lot of times so i'm gonna have to comb that out and i think there's the permatease in there i can feel it so it looks a little nasty i'm gonna to have to kind of camouflage that a little bit but i'm gonna tighten this because it's a, a little bit big on me so if you have a bigger head this might be a good one for you do you want to play with yours a little bit you know i i have to say i feel like julia roberts in the pretty woman movie <laughs> oh, where yeah. she has the wig and then she takes it off and her yeah. <laughs> i like that cut though I, it's I, very yeah, it's um, cute like razored if you it is very shiny yeah, like if you turn around, show the back a little bit. Yeah, you can see it's all like razor. I really like the way that looks. It's a nice cut. I yeah, like, it's a nice I cut. Like the style. And for twenty nine ninety nine, can't beat it. I'm gonna. Um, yeah. Oh, I I took it off and didn't adjust it. I might take this home today. You can be a blonde. You can wear it. You can wear it tonight out to yeah. dinner. <laughs> do that. Surprise some people. I should get the dry shampoo so we can spray it so you can see it less shiny. Okay. Okay. That's the neat thing about wigs. You can just be a different person if you want right? to. Right? I know. I love it. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to pull this back to my hairline. That's better. I uh, adjusted it. made it a little tighter for me. But I would say if you have a bigger head, this one could be a good one for that. 
Yeah. I brought the comb in. It's a little puffy for you. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, you don't like it on me or what? You can be I, honest. I'm just not used to like the, maybe you just have to brush it out a little. Yeah. How's the part looking? Yeah. It's kind of weird, right? Yeah, I'm not. I, I'm not loving I'm this not part. Loving the part. I think what I'll do with this one, I'm not going to return any. I really like the color. I like lot. the color too. I think what I'll probably do is use this. What I would do when, if I don't like the part and I can't fix it is I would pull it back something like this and put it in like yeah. a little clip. Yeah. To then you won't even the, see. Um, do you have scissors? Oh yeah. Let me go. <laughs> did I? I didn't even get them. Here's a comb. Did. Let me grab scissors. Okay. I could even put this up too. That's cute. Right? I have clips in there, but let me get you the dry shampoo too. Okay. Where are my scissors? Did I bring them? Oh, I yeah, they you are. did. Let me get the dry shampoo before you clip it up. Okay. Huh. Maybe a long blonde wig would be really cute too. Blonde. Who would have thought? I've been brown my whole life. Brunette. Dark brown, light brown. Hmm. Okay, so this is the dry shampoo. Okay. So you can just spray it and show which dry shampoo it is. Okay, so this is the Death Valley dry <laughs> shampoo. I'm gonna link R it. R and Company. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna link everything below. Okay, so just. You didn't cut this tag off? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did get the scissors for a purpose. All right, so I just spray all around. Yeah, I kind of like lift the hair, yeah. Just kind of. How's that? <laughs> Good. <laughs> My sofa's not shiny anymore <laughs> Okay. Does it look less shiny to you? It's hard to tell in the camera. It does in person. Okay. But it looks still shiny in the camera. Yeah, it does. I really like it, though. I think I'm going to put it up. So the interesting thing is because... You have so much hair right back here. You have kind of a little bump, so you oh, would have to okay. so can put you, it differently. You can see it. Maybe um, I could move it down. Yeah, it doesn't. Matter. I'm just going to show this all the way around. I'm just going to kind of do that. How's the back of this look? Do you like the back? Yeah. Yeah, you can't tell it's a wig. I mean, it looks like it's like hair, right? Yeah. It's amazing, and it feels like. Is it real hair? No, it's synthetic. Wow. Yeah, there are human hair wigs, but not at this price point usually. Okay. So this is synthetic. So uh, my feeling is with this one, I would definitely, you know, pull it back like this. But, you know, what did I say this was? Thirty six ninety nine. Thirty six ninety nine. Yeah, so that's not bad. So I would just pull it up like that probably. Mm -hmm. I think that would be a cute look. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. Do you like these? I do. I like the color. Something this different. looks like it has little box hair, maybe. Like the way the bangs are falling, you might have to play with that. And a way mm -hmm. to do that is warm your hands up. Okay. And then you hold it back. So just the heat of your hand so it's not too hot. Like push your hand on it. Kind of like this. I don't know that that did much. You have to play with it. And it seems like far back on your head there. It should be right at your hairline. Could also be because it's a short wig and my hair is like kind of weighing it down right. a little bit. Actually, you know what I can do is I can throw it on. Okay. Am I ear supposed to show them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you want to have ears. <laughs> you didn't have ears. <laughs> That would be a different look. That would be weird. <laughs> okay, so, whoa, look at this color on me. Ooh, I like it. Okay, and I'll spin so you can see it without the bump because I don't have any hair. 
And um, if you, I have heard that if people have a lot of hair, one thing you can do is braid it, um, um, you know, in a lot of little braids or something to keep it flat. That would seem like a lot of work. This is very shiny, very shiny. Okay. I don't know that this color's for me. I like it. Do you? Yeah. Something different. Okay. I just thought I'd try it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd have to comb that. Are yeah. oh, your ear tabs in the right place? I mean, I think so. I think. You know, I really don't like the part on Mara. Yeah. I don't. Okay, let's get to the next two or we're going to be here all day. Okay. Okay, so we'll put these back in their box. I'm just going to kind of lay it on the box for now. Here, lay this on the box you got it out of, and we'll take the next one. So that's moving up. This one's $39.99. And this is Dallas in the color 8 slash 12A. Okay, $39.99. And this one is Ashley. It was regularly $69.99. I paid $59.99. I wrote the prices on the boxes. They didn't come this way. Um, and the color is SF12 slash 28 number six. Okay. So just show the cat first. Uh, we have, um, it's stuck to the tag. Oh, you have the scissors here. Okay. So this is Ashley, and I paid $59.99. Let's take a look at her cap. Okay, so again, no lace front, open wefting. She doesn't have uh, the velvet nape. It is extended though, but it's open. Velcro adjusters, and I imagine open ear tabs. Yeah, with the hair spliced in there. This looks like it's gonna be a pretty color. I think it's showing up more blonde on the camera than it actually is. It has a decent amount of auburn in it. Okay. All right. You can show your cap while I put this on. Okay. I don't know what I'm saying. But... <laughs> it's okay. I'll show your this cap. This is the cap. <laughs> Again, no lace front, open wefting. I'm expecting too much of you too soon. <laughs> looks like there's probably some permatees in here. It feels like there is. It has a, an extended nape and it's open. And the ear tabs, I imagine, yes. Also open with hair spliced in. So, so far we haven't had any lace front or any monofilament part. Okay. Oh, a lot of hair in this one. Let me see. So I wanted to show you up front because I didn't do it with the other wig. When you don't have a lace front, it's a pretty stark line here. And a lot of times, like if you have a style with bangs, it doesn't really matter because you're going to, you know, be covering that part. If you don't, then that's more of an issue and you have to figure out how to make that work. Either pull out some of your bio hair or style it, get bangs cut in. So this has the bang, so it covers that, which is nice. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it's a nice cut. It's like a layered kind of. Yeah, that looks good on you. Yeah, I would. I think I would put it behind my ear like that. Yeah, or you didn't put it up. I really like this color. Let me just spin yeah. for you so you can see. And it kind of comes, it has a little. Oh, flip. I like that. You like that? That looks really good. How's the back look? Looks great. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. And this feels, it fits pretty nicely on me. Again, I'm petite average, but it does have adjusters, so I'm sure it goes up to average. I don't know how it would be on a larger head. Okay. What do you got I'm there? not sure what's happening with mine. <laughs> it looks like a big case of box hair. So that happens. They call it cold crimping or box hair. And um, sometimes just from sitting in the box for a period of time, it doesn't come out ready to wear. <laughs> yeah, it's not looking so great on Here, me. Yeah, let's see if we can brush it. But I really like yours. Are your ear tabs in the right place? 
I think so. Okay. They're right here. Okay. So I was so not sure that was this. equal. And this one was how much did we say? $39.99? $39.99, yes. Okay, so this one is definitely going to need some work. Yeah. What I would like you to do, if you can, is like spin for the camera so you okay. can see. This one definitely needs work. Okay. This is what it's like right out of the box. You can see this here, like it has a weird wave, turn sideways, like this weird wave right there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, this needs work. I'll actually do a video where I try to work on it and see what we can get it to do. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash it and let it dry and see if it comes back to the style it's supposed to oh, be. So you can actually wash it? You can wash. I did a video on how to wash your wig. So if you haven't seen that, I'll put a link right here. You can check that out. Um, so I'm going to try to wash that and hang okay. it to dry and see what happens. Okay, okay so but good. this one out of the box. I really like that. Yeah, it's, it's a cute style. It's like one uh, had the little bangs and then longer mm. layers. Yeah. Okay. Next up. Of course, give me the boxy one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you volunteer. <laughs> you get what you get and you don't get upset. Oh, okay. You always tell <laughs> That's our saying that. around here. Oh, do you really? We always tell our students that you get what you get and you don't get upset. <laughs> okay, so this next one was $69.99. I got it for $59.99. It's one of the Jacqueline Smith wigs. And it's called Sunset in the color 33 slash 24 4. So Sharon's going to try that one on once what she gets her wig grip my, on. Uh, wig I saw grip. it like pop so out. So this is what it. happens when you try on several wigs. You Is it on the floor or next to you? Or is it underneath this? Maybe it's underneath this. It's underneath oh, it <laughs> Okay, so um, you're doing the Jacqueline Smith Sunset, right? And I'm going to do Jacqueline Smith Leading Lady. And this was $99.99. I got it for $79.99 in the color 8 slash 27 4. So let's give that a try. Let's. Oh, I'm doing this one, so is that? Yeah, let's see if this, this one might have come with some, I, I can't remember if it had a lace front. I feel like for this price, I got something. Let's see, yeah. Okay. So this has the lace front. You can see it here. And it has the nice fabric for the ear tabs and extended nape and open wefting, and there is permatease in here. All right, some go. people don't like permatease, some people do. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me. What matters is how the style looks once it's on. Sometimes it needs the permatease for me. Okay. All right, so this one is a basic cap. It does not have the lace, has permatease right here open wefting, extended nape. It's the open kind, it's not that material. And the open ear tabs with the hair spliced in. And what color is yours? Um, sunset, is that the color? That's the name 30. of it. 33 slash 24, four. And this was on sale from 69.99 to 59.99. Okay, so this has a lace front. Ooh, it's a lot of hair. <laughs> and lay, the great thing about a lace front, although this one is not laying that flat. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know, I'll have to see if I can get it to lay flat. But the idea of the lace front is that it looks like hair is coming out of your head. It's coming out of the lace there. I don't know if you can tell that. 
Okay, this is it out of the box. It's a lot of hair. It's a lot of hair. I actually like the curls though. I do. And the color. But let me just turn for you. I wanted to show it to you out of the box and then we'll comb it and do some stuff. So this is what it looks like. It's like a wild look. Yeah. <laughs> that would look good on our other sister, Melissa. She has, she has hair, like hair like this. This so this good. actually looks a little bit like her hair, but yeah. hers is done nicely. I, in case Melissa, she never watches my videos anyway. <laughs> so we can say whatever we want about <laughs> Melissa. Let's do it. We'll dish on Melissa. Okay. You actually look like Melissa now with your hair. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm enjoying this wig. Okay, well, do you want to first do a spin out okay. of the box? All right, this is out of the box. I mean, the color is beautiful. The color is beautiful on you. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like red. Like There's an red awesome. and blonde running through it. Really nice color. Does it look real? What What about the Well, you have to comb it. The part. Stuff. Usually what I do, I, I forgot to say this, is when you take it out of the box, you shake it to kind of get the hair away from the cap. Okay. And then, you know, but here, try combing it and yeah, stuff. I guess it's not, I really like the color. It's beautiful. Yeah. It is a nice wig, actually. Yeah, I do like it. Now that I'm combing it and moving it around a right. little bit. And then you can style it, like, you know, you can... I, I can really feel the permatease in this one. You could get a lot of height out of this if you want. If you don't like permatease, you might not like this one. Your part has to be changed. Okay. See, when you get the hair away from the cap, it starts to look more natural. It's not like you're wearing a helmet, you know? Yeah, because no one wants to wear a helmet. Unless she does not look on good. a motorcycle, but. I can't, I don't want to hurt you. Helmet but... hair. Okay. Is that looking any better? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's cute. Yeah, and then you could always pull it back, pull it on one side. I think I would definitely have to pull some of this back just because it's so much hair. But uh, I like the curls on this one. They're kind of yeah. like natural waves. Yeah. Is it too much hair for me, you think? No. No? Is it too much hair for me? Well, no, you have a lot of hair anyway, so. I like this style with these layers. Yeah, and you can't tell that it's a wig. I know. Like it looks like it's real. It looks like it's hair. Yeah. Yeah, you just have to work with the part. But that's normal. They come, you know, crisscross like that. And here, take it off. Let's okay. shake it out. I guess every time you take it off, you get the wig cap off, huh? Oh, I think I have my... Uh, I didn't oh. put it on. Oh, but... okay. You don't Why have to wear it this again just i i thought to hold all your hair uh, in but if you like it better without that yeah, it's easy shape this a little get it away from the wig cap and then let's comb it and we'll try it again on you you know i was thinking this morning as i was getting ready my hair right now is white up here right so my thought was instead of painting it all the time in between my hair appointments i could just wear a wig totally and totally. save you, you money you can even wear just a topper if you want or a yeah. whole wig yeah the thing that i find is for what i was paying for highlights and a cut and everything that buys me a wig yeah. And that wig will last six to nine months, they say. I, have, I haven't been doing this long enough to see how the, long they last, but I think since I have so many, they'll last even longer because I don't wear them, okay. you know, that yeah. much. Um, so if I just bought a wig each time I was going to get my hair done, you know? That's what I'm thinking. Like, I could, because I hate going to school with it white. Right. So I paint it and then I have black all over my hands and all over my face. <laughs> that's so and that's why be a good today look. I didn't I went white because I, you know, knew we were trying wigs. The kids are like, what's up with Mrs. Abram? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Okay, make sure my ear tabs are even. Yeah, well, you see, you got this I'm getting down. better at that. And, and the ear tabs, I forgot to tell you, they have metal stays in them. Some are bigger than others. These have, I would say, smaller uh, metal stays, but they work. Did I just try on the same wig? Yeah, yeah, but we okay. combed it. Oh, okay, good. Okay, so what, sure. what are your thoughts about it? I like it. I like it too. Yeah, I think it looks good. I, I would natural. definitely work with this one though for, you know, all right. Yeah, I actually really like this. Nice. And that one was $59.99. These are all very reasonably yeah. priced. Okay. Let's... I mean, my husband doesn't like short hair on me, but. Well, that's not short. No, not really. It's shoulder length. Okay, we're up to the last two, believe it or not. That's not so bad. I'm going to take the shorter one. And this shorter one you've seen me wear. I actually wore this in the Crochet and Tell video. And I said that I would review it. Both of these are Tony Bratton wigs. And they were $119 a piece. She's going to put on Enticing in Brown Blonde. There you go. Okay. And I'm putting on... And it's interesting. One came in a box like this. And one came in a bag like this I'm, with this in it. I'm not really sure what the difference is. Um, and this one is called Confidence in Red Blonde. I love the red blonde color. Okay, so these caps uh, are basic caps, no lace front. There's per permatease here, open wefting, extended nape with Velcro adjusters. And it's the nice material for the nape and for the ear tabs. And they're both the same okay. cap. Okay. Now, here's a question. Yeah, shake if it out. If you're wearing it all day, how yeah. do you feel? Do you get like any headaches? Do you feel any? I don't get any headaches. I've heard that there are people who do. I've never gotten a headache. And I actually forget that I'm wearing a wig. Okay, I get so to... it's comfortable enough that you wear it all it day. It is for me. And okay. I, I think the open wefting helps, but and the fact that I'm always too cold anyway, I don't get too hot. If you have hot flashes, which mm -hmm. I don't really have anymore, it might get hot for you, but... And I'll switch it up, because if it's warmer out, I'll usually wear a shorter wig. I don't wear a lot okay. of hair. The great thing is, we were out in the rain yesterday, and I didn't even really notice because this is like wearing a hat. Oh, yes, and the beautiful true. thing about these getting wet, they don't frizz. They go right back to their hairstyle. Oh, so I didn't even feel like I needed an umbrella. And Andy was like, come under the umbrella <laughs> with me. I was like, I, I don't really need one. Okay, look Maybe at this color. It. Isn't this gorgeous? Yeah. Okay, so again, no lace here. So if I pulled this back, it's a pretty stark line. Like that doesn't look so natural, but I'm not going to. I wear it down like this. I love this wig. This one's confidence. I love the cut. I'm going to turn around for you. Yeah, that's perfect on you. It's it's a style I like. Yeah. You know, that the straight mm -hmm. and um, kind of angled. So here's the side. 119 bucks. That looks amazing. Right? And the other side. And I love this red blonde color. I think it's great for fall. It's a nice shape, too. Oh, I like this one on you. Do you? Yeah. Right. You, you said that, that like you don't. Do you not like it? I, I can't Here, let tell. Me. So this has like um, waves, you know? It's not really curly. Okay. The one thing is the bangs. It looks like the bangs have a little bit of box hair. I don't know why you keep getting the box hair ones. <laughs> I did not plan that. <laughs> I promise. Do you want to play with it with the comb a little? Sure. I like that color. The brown blonde on you looks good. Do you, and do do you like the length? I do. I do. Because you have such long it. hair and mm -hmm. you can, you know, just change it up. That's the beauty. You don't have to cut so your you, hair off. And you can't tell that I have hair underneath. No. This one That's you definitely pretty. can't. It's pretty. Yeah. Turn to the back. That's good. Yeah, I like that curl there. A lot of body. Yeah. So what do you think? You're gonna start wearing a wig? I am. Are you really? I am going to start wearing a wig, in, especially in between my colorings, 
because why not? That way I don't have to have all the black on my hands and my face and I can save some money too. And do you find them uncomfortable at all? No. You should wear no. one out tonight and see how it is. I would like to. Yeah, take whichever okay. you want. Which one do you think look the best on me? Uh, I like the, not the real blonde. Uh, why don't you guys vote? Let us know which yeah. one looks the best <laughs> in the comments. Um, which one looks the best? I really like this one on you. And I like okay. the color. Well, and you can also try on the ones that I was trying on. Like the Ashley one is longer. Do you want to try okay, that? Yeah, let me try that one. Let me see where she is. I think this is her. Here. Okay. Yeah, this was a nice style. All right, make sure my ear tabs. They're She's got this me. down already. My ear tabs, <laughs> there they are, okay. All right, that's even. Yeah, and then pull your hairline back to where your natural hairline is. Let's see, it's a little too far back. There we go. Okay. I don't know. What do you think? Look at me. It's nice on you too, but I think I like I think the girls. The other one, yeah. Yeah, I like the girls. Wear that one to dinner tonight. We'll see what everybody says. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I hope you found this helpful. Uh, I just wanted to quickly unbox, try them on, show you different price points, different colors, different... What is the word I'm looking for? Uh, styles? I don't know. Well, no, styles, but, you know, lace front. Um, Different um, components. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't we find the word? <laughs> it really is. Features. Features. Different features. Oh, my gosh. What do you say? Um, yeah, so I, I just wanted to show. I have hair in my face. That's the one thing. When you don't have a lot of hair, you're not used to hair in your face. Mm. And, but anyway, different colors, different price points, different features. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions at all, put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. And if you want to see a more in-depth review of any of these wigs, let me know that too. And I'll just do them on an individual basis. Okay, as always, thank you so much for joining me, us. I truly, and thank you for coming I'm and doing sure. this. This is fun. <laughs> it was, it's it was. Fun. As always, thank you for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.